Hey guys, welcome back. The Android Pie update for Mi A2 is now being rolled out globally with December security patch. Last time in November, it's a very limited release, only selected countries got the update. So if you hadn't got the update last time, then check for updates and you should be getting the update notification. This time according to various reports from users, the update is out in Asia, it's out in Middle East and it's also out in EU. If this is the first Pi update for your device, then the update size will be 1GB+. plus. But if you had already got the Pi update for OS version 10.0.1.0, then the ODS size will be 227.2 MB. So let's try downloading the update, no issues here. It started the download right away without any Wi-Fi requirement notification. Now it's installing within the OS because Mi A2 supports seamless updates. The update will get installed in the second slot if your phone is currently booted in slot 1 and once you restart the phone, the boot slot gets changed and your phone will be running the new OS update. It's done the update installation going to settings about phone tab. It's Android 9 Pie with December 5 security patch and the new OS version is 10.0.2.0. So about the features, they are the same as last update. If you wanna know the new features like new launcher, quick toggles or notification panel, new pie gestures, check out the video linked in the description or from the pinned post of the comment section. There's one thing I missed last time, it's a new accessibility menu which you can enable by going to accessibility tab from settings, accessibility menu from downloaded services and enable use service option. So now with on screen navigation bar or swipe up gesture, you see this tiny human icon and when you hit it, you can do a lot of things like triggering assistant, opening power menu, adjusting media volume, opening recent apps and also you can open quick settings and notification panel which is very useful as the launcher doesn't support any swipe down gesture. Next, the ROM doesn't support camera to API as you can see it's still legacy support so you got to manually enable the camera to API through ADB or some other means to get the Google camera ports working. So that's it for now if you have any questions drop a comment thanks for watching and see you guys soon.